Hey everyone, Bryce here. Hey, we're gonna do root of the matter this week. And we're gonna tell you all about video and how best to do it, how to shoot it, what gear to use, all that good stuff, how to edit it, how to repurpose it. We're gonna give you all the details as to how to jump into video if you haven't done it already. It's really not that hard. And all you need to do is shoot one piece of content a month, repurpose it, and you're golden. So stay tuned. Lots of details, lots of links, all sorts of resources to get you started. So come on, let's go. I've been on a long road. Hi everyone, Bryce here. In this month's Root of the Matter, we're not actually going to talk with a local business owner in person, but instead, I thought it would be best to take on the number one question that I always get from just about every small business owner that I work with, and that is, how do I get started with video? I know I need to do it, but how do I start? So this week, I'm gonna jump into all the details as to where to go, what to use, all that good stuff, and step number one, it's all about coming up with the concept and using that storyboard to have some organization and some strategy behind it rather than just shooting random videos because you want to be able to kind of have a beginning, middle, and end that runs very smoothly and it flows well so people want to kind of keep, keep watching. Even if it's five minutes, whatever the length of the video, you want to have some kind of flow to it. So I'm going to start off with the first part here, storyboard. So very simple, make it super simple for yourself because I know you're busy. So here you go, I'm going to bend down the video here. Just take a little piece of paper, storyboard, do the first shot, describe what's going to be in it, maybe even draw a picture up here, and then describe three things that you want to do with that shot. Maybe it's a little to-do list, what you need to talk about in that shot. Next shot, you're going to describe, okay, well, what's natural? What's the next best part of the video that I need to describe? Maybe it's one, two, or three things that I need to talk about in that part. Then you think about, okay, well, maybe I'm now at the conclusion of my video. How should I wrap it up? What are the things I need to mention to get the person to take action, to go to the website? Whatever you want them to do, whatever the purpose of the video, you need to wrap it up. Here are the three things that I, need, I want to make sure that I mention in the video. And then you can go into any detail that you want to have kind of stick out in each of those sections. Super simple, make it easy for yourself. You're not doing a full on production that's going to Hollywood and gonna be on iTunes and everything else in most cases. So keep it simple. You wanna make this really easy for you to actually make happen. So here's the next part. Okay everyone, next up is I'm gonna show you the gear that you need to use to simply do video quickly and easily because I know as a busy entrepreneur and business owner, you don't have a whole lot of time for this in most cases. So here's the deal. First off, the camera. I suggest using your iPhone or your mobile phone, whatever you use to do it because it's in your back pocket, it's in your purse, wherever you keep it on you at all times, you're able to access it and just jump into action when you see something that you think you need to capture and that your customers or clients would love to kind of see and hear and kind of learn more about. So here's the deal. Use the phone and here's a quick video as to how to select 4K. Many of the newest, newer phones actually have a 4K setting in the settings of your camera. And you, it's not on there by default, but you can easily select it. So here's how to do that. Okay, so next there's the other gear, the other stuff that you need to make it a little bit easier to shoot as a one-man show one person show. So here's the deal. I bike commute to work almost every day and go all over the place to meet with clients. So here's the deal. All my gear fits in this Ziploc bag. It used to not be that way. I used to have a little camera case and all that, but I needed to be very mobile with my setup. So here's the deal. In this bag, 
have my lenses, wide angle lens, so when you do do the selfie video part of things, it's a little bit wider, so it's not as in your face. Flexible tripod. Microphone, so you don't have to deal with the lapel mic. I hate having to deal with that stuff. Connection cord from the microphone to your phone. Dead cat, <laughs> I know, uh, it goes on the actual microphone. That way, you can actually, if there's wind out, this is a wind noise reducer, so definitely get one of these. And all the links to all this stuff, uh, much of it is super cheap. I think the full setup that I've done maybe costs $150. And this is a cool piece of equipment. This attaches to the tripod, and then the camera attaches right here, aka your phone. And then on top here, that's where the, the microphone attaches. And so you can have a super easy setup. So here's the, the time lapse on how to set it up. Literally, it takes about 30 seconds. Here it goes. Okay, so you saw how easy it was. Super easy, it's right here. This is what the setup has looked like. So you can actually hold it like this and shoot yourself like that, make it super easy. Here's a pic on what it looks like when I'm uh, actually taping myself. You don't, normally don't get to see this shot, but that's how you get to kind of use this gear and have it uh, really work for you as you're on the go. So next up, I'm gonna tell you how to repurpose that video that you shoot. Okay, here it goes. Okay everyone, now it's time to talk about how you can repurpose that video. All sorts of different ways that you can use this video now that you've recorded it. First off, social media. You can very easily make that happen, get it out there to the world via social media. You can use little apps on your phone, such as like Cut Story, which chop up that video, so then you can actually use it with Instagram stories, Facebook stories, however you want to use it. Uh, you can also talk about using it in your email newsletter so you can easily get it out to your devoted fans. But also one another way you can do it is actually send it to your strategic partners. They may also have an email newsletter and they can very easily feature you because most people are hungry for great content that will help their customers. So if your video fits that bill, they may very well put it in there as well. They might share it on their social media. So if you want to figure out how you can repurpose it, that's a great way to do it. Also think about Facebook and Instagram ads. Don't always think about ads as a way to promote a sale or a way for you to make money. Also use those ads as a way to basically share your helpful content. Be a resource for your customers. Don't always be the company or business that's asking for their money. Always try to help them and they will remember that. So lots of different ways. You can put it on your website. Maybe it's part of a highlight reel. Maybe if you have several products in your e-commerce website, this could be a very super cool way of having a product video, how-to video, how best to use your product. So those people on your website go, oh, I could totally use it that way. Easy sell. It kind of explains why that product fits into their lifestyle. Okay, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Root of the Matter. Hopefully it made jumping into video a little less scary. So feel free to go through all the details, all the links, Kind of find out what you need to make it happen. All sorts of little details are in there to make it super easy for you. And that's the key. So otherwise you're not gonna do it. So it's gotta be easy. So stay tuned, lots more details and options and resources and all good stuff coming your way. So stay tuned, Root of the Matter is coming again soon. Okay, bye you guys.